What's up, YouTube, family, friends, everybody? I forgot to tell y'all about one channel of income that I do. So, this is Paris. That's my jewel. And that's Prince. Prince is a Yorkie Maltese. And Paris is a toy poodle. And then mine is a pit bull, American pit bull terrier. So I forgot to tell y'all about the Rover app. So I've been keeping dogs since 2017. And I kind of forgot about it. I hadn't logged in and accepted any clients in a while. So I just decided to log back on and start back keeping uh, dogs again Paris over there she didn't want to sit on the couch <laughs> but um I just started keeping dogs again um, that's something that I was doing before so I'm doing it again now it's a good source of income very easy to do especially when they're house trained and potty trained whatnot spayed and neutered um, the two little ones happen to not be spayed or neutered Prince is the boy Paris is the girl but I didn't have no problem out of them. I kept them apart, but they weren't doing anything but chasing each other. Well, Paris was chasing Prince. The girl was chasing the boy, and he was running. So, <laughs> they made it easy for me because it wasn't about that life. Jewel, on the other hand, is the one who's fully trained. So, she actually helps keep any pets that I keep. She helped keep them in line, especially outside for going out for potty break. I have a creek um, in my backyard, but my dog goes out without a leash. She's been doing it since she was a puppy when we first got her at 12 weeks old. But she went through training, and she pretty much shows all of the other dogs that come to stay how far they can go. So I have it what I consider the gun line. Don't go across the gun line by the creek. So Jewel teaches them that. I never have a problem with anyone's dog. I always take them out on the leash the first day, walk with them, see how they interact with the backyard. And if they do good, then I'll walk beside them um, the next two times or three times they go out and see how they do. And then eventually they end up not needing a leash at all. So I go out with them. I stand back there. On the Rover app, they like for you to take pictures um, when they have a poo or pee break and you send it to the parent on the app. Just to let them know, you know, they're outside playing or outside taking a potty break. You set your own rates on Rover um, as far as the boarding and as far as like daycare. So back in 2017, I had a pit bull that used to come over, uh, Daisy Mae, and she would just do eight hour uh, sittings with me. And that's also before I became entrepreneur. I was working from home as a fraud investigator then. So I was home all day. Now, um, since I'm an entrepreneur, I can come home when I want to. I can stay home when I want to. So pretty much it depends on how many dogs I have and what's the temperament of the dog. If I know that I can step away for a minute or not. Um, my dog has an extra large kennel. So, of course, she plus the two little ones can fit in her kennel and still have plenty of room to move around and no one's on top of one another or smushing one another. No conflict. Jewel gets along with everybody. Unless there's something going on weird with that dog, I have no trouble with her interacting with any of the dogs I keep. So I'm going to leave my link on my com community page tab for the Rover app. If any of you all are interested in signing up, then just click on the link. I think we both will get paid or whatnot if you do it that way. But I will put that on the um, community page tab on my YouTube. Uh, like I said, it's easy money. You set your own rates. Rover has a fee that they take out for every night. I think it was like $7 or $5 a night. So keep that in mind when you set your rates. Um, per night is going to be a fee from Rover that's subtracted from it. And you can set up your direct deposit or whatever they put it in your bank account. But this is just for my dog lovers. If you feel that you can 
keep dogs, you have that patience for dogs, and you have the room or the space for dogs, then this would be another channel of income that's really easy. I mean, dogs just want you to play with them, get them some type of attention. They do eventually get tired. They take naps. Of course, you have to make sure you have their food. Um, a lot of the parents I'm seeing now are supplying bottled water or whatnot for their own um, fur babies. But I actually have a, what is it? A, I think it's a carbon filtered water fountain for my dog. So she doesn't even drink uh, tap water. We don't either, but she has her own waterfall filter water. I can show you that little blue thing there is a carbon filter water fountain for my dog. So that water is uh, tested. It has no chemicals. So if she drinks out of it, she, she's not drinking any tap water with the chemicals. I have a water tester. So I've tested the water to make sure that it's doing what it says it does. And, and it is. So... I let them use their bottled water that they bring, but once they run out, um, I make sure they have filtered water either from that fountain or my zero water filter uh, jug that's in the refrigerator that we use. But you just follow their request as far as the care of their um, fur baby, and you can message them throughout the day, throughout their stay, um, anything that they're doing just so they can, you know, enjoy their trip if they're on vacation or if they're out running errands just because it's a few hours of sitting, a picture will always help an owner feel comfortable knowing that their fur baby is okay and they're doing well uh, at your home. So, once again, it's called Rover. Uh, it's a, a green background with a letter R as far as the app icon. So, you can download the app. They do um, run a background check. So... There will be a background check performed on you. And if they feel like you're a great fit, um, you'll get an email letting you know that you're ready to start. But just wanted to drop that nugget real quick. Another source of income for my determined entrepreneurs. If y'all have any questions about it, um, I'll answer them as quick as I can. Because at this point, your girl tired. I'm busy. Um, I got Rover. I'm still doing Spark. Um, still selling Avon. Ooh, what else? <laughs> I had a lot going on right now. I just got my car back again, too. I've been in a loaner car for over two weeks. Um, power steering went out on my car, and it's electric. So that was the whole power steering gear, rack and pinion, everything. But I'm, I'm going, I'm back up and going in my own car. At least I was able to get a loaner from them this time. So... Just wanted to give y'all this quick information. Let me know if you tried it or if you're doing it or if you sign up and you got questions. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. All right. Y'all get that money.